Hi, I'm Deborah Weller, and I am here because Angela of the Jackson Project invited me to talk to you today about men's mental health. The place to start with men's mental health is with our boys. I'm an educator, professional storyteller, and parenting instructor. And I am a mother of a man now, but he was a boy, and I am the mother of an eight-year-old grandson. I know it's really important that as women raising boys, we have to be careful not to nag them. We want a lot of positive role models for our boys, especially if you're a single mom raising that boy. You want to have grandfathers or uncles who can be positive role models to help you to raise that boy from boy to man. In order to bring successful mental health to our men, we start with them as boys. And it's awesome when we can have power statements for them and goals that we set for them so that they can learn to have affirmations that they will use as their mottos. Like, I am a man of integrity. I have a man of healthy self-esteem. I am a confident man. I am a man of compassion and empathy. We can help our young boys by giving them these affirmations and mottos. I am honest. I believe in myself. I can honor other people in my life. I can treat people with respect. I am a person who can care about others and help other people by using my talents and my mental capacities to be of strong mind and body, to be a good friend, to be a good son, to be a good student. Now, yes, that's a lot to give any child right away, but we start with baby steps. Now we need to know about how boys learn. It's a lot different than the girls. As a mother, I would be a mother nag. Oh my gosh, when my son was getting his Eagle Scout, I truly nagged him. And I met with resistance along the way by being a mother nag. Instead, there are better ways. First of all, boys need competition. They need that competition to feel worthy, but we don't have to put them in a type of competition that brings on bullying type of behavior or I'm better than you kind of behavior. Naturally, boys will go to one another and they'll also dare one another, but we wanna sit down with our boys and help them to realize that they can be heroes even in competition. And if we teach them the skills to be better in those competitions without giving them a false sense of pride, we can set them up for success. So let's say it's a speech competition. We can teach them proper ways of public speaking to give that report at school, to give them that confidence. If they're competing in sports, you wanna partner with a good coach so that your boy can actually learn the rules of wrestling, the rules of cross country, the rules of playing football and baseball. We want them to have a structure that helps them to overcome their aggression that sometimes naturally comes out and their anger management. We need to let them know that anger management is a life skill and set them out on some basic simple things even when they're very young. And that is first, when they're starting to feel like they're going to explode, to stop, breathe in, think about where you're going with this anger. They need healthy outlets for that aggression when a boy is starting to feel angry that he wants to lash out, hit, bite, kick, fight, 
and is there a way that they might do it? So instead, help your son or that boy you love to realize that anger management is something that we have control over. They like to be in control. This is something we can control. Show them a drawing of a volcano. Help them to understand our emotions bubble up like the hot lava and they bubble beneath. And then eventually one day they just come out and either we're hitting, we're struggling, we're using naughty language, we're coming back in anger. Boys need a way to get that aggression. They need to be outside. They need to run around the yard when they're starting to feel like they're going to explode instead of hitting or hurting. They need to be told, we do not hit, we do not hurt. Now, yes, self-defense is very important in the future, but initially help them to understand how they can stop, draw back, take a deep breath, send themselves to timeout to take a break. What could be in that timeout place to help them? A pillow. They can pound a pillow. They can pound Play-Doh. It's something safe that they can do. They can also give them a drum set, one of those electronic ones, so they can beat on those drums and get out that aggression before it explodes. But guess what? They're going to explode first sometimes. So that's when we have to use that as a teachable moment to bring them around to being healthier. Now, we want to reach out and give our boys very healthy hobbies that they can be involved in. Encourage them in the arts, not just sports. Music, oh my, music saved my son. It was through music playing that bass guitar and drums that he was able to find self-control. And I'm in for martial arts training. Yes, those masters at those studios help our young men to learn how to deal with their aggression. So what kind of boy to men do you want to have? Do you want to have a child who struggles with their mental health because they haven't learned their anger management and their aggression needs and how to put them in proper places? We do not want to let them get out of control. We love them too much. So start when they are young to teach them those skills that will help them to see themselves as a hero. Tell them hero stories. Help them to construct those hero stories with you where the hero is faced with the life or death moment or the good or the bad struggle. Help them to develop the stories with you so that they start to see themselves as heroes. I could go on forever, but these are just a few tips that will help you raise your boys to men with strong mental health.